Good morning and welcome to Cruise Control TV. I'm your host, Richard Schreckengoss. And I'm Chloe Joy. And this week, we have something a little bit different for you. We went to the Food Lion Auto Fair at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. As you know, you were there. Yes. For a change. <laughs> and we have so much great footage that we could not find any room to cut any of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you all of that footage this week, including some interviews you did. Now, there's a couple of cars that you really liked. The G8 of Charlotte, that is my favorite car of all time, the G8 GXP. Yeah, uh, you actually did a great interview on that. I was really impressed Feel with Feel free yourself. to buy me one at any time, Rick. Yeah, when you show up for work more than once a week. Anyways, from there, we're going to take you to the interview with Stan Cavanaugh on the car of the week. So without any further ado, let's get right to the auto fair. Car won't start, stuck on the side of the road, we know what it's like. Give our friend Tim at City Tire Towing a call, 704-254-9264. We use Monroe Alternator and Starter for all of our needs. Give them a call, 704-283-6320, ask for Doug. This is Fast Jack Beckman, and when I'm not going 300 in that, I'm watching Cruise Control TV. SBB Smokehouse, come taste the experience. Hey boys and girls and blokes, I'm at Carolina, you pull in Rock Hill where you pull the pipes yourself to save money. Come with me now, we found some wild beasts. Well boy, you find everything you need here, perfect vehicle for a safari, and look at here, I got a wild Mustang. Look at what we found here, Thunderbird. He's an Impala, he's got some great points. Here Carolina, you pull in Rock Hill, there's bugs all over the place here. Get off of me, would you? Ain't no matter what you call, they got the point right here, Carolina Sandwich, Carolina, you pull it in Rock Hill. For 50 years, Bear Insurance has been serving the needs of customers just like you and your family. Locally owned and operated, Bear Insurance has locations in Albemarle, Locust, and Mount Pleasant, providing coverage for your home, automobile, motorcycle, and even your commercial insurance needs. Bear is just a phone call away. Committed to customer satisfaction, Bear is there when you need them most. For a free price quote, call 704-982-1156. I'm the parent of two sons that drive every day. Don't let your parents receive the phone call that Doug got last year. Last year my two boys were killed in a car accident while they were driving fast, less than a mile from the house. There is a place to drive fast, and that's right out here where Clay and I do at the drag strip. Go to putonthebrakes.org to download a safe driving contract and learn what you can do to be a safer driver. We're here at the uh, Food Lion Auto Fair in Concord, North Carolina, at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. And uh, we got a really great show lined up for you. There's a lot of fantastic cars, a lot of food, a lot of good stuff going on. What do you think, girls? You excited about this one? Yes, sir. Yeah, I am too. So you stick around. We're going to be right back with some great stuff for you. Hey, I'm at Carolina Auto Fair with... Rich Farley. How are you today? I'm not doing bad. How about you? That's good. So what is Harrisburg Cruisers? Can you tell me a little bit about them? We're a uh, local car club that we a bunch of us got together just to do some work with uh, local charities, have fun with our cars, and meet some new people. All right. Well, what kind of cars do you guys have today? We have everything from Novas to uh, Chargers, Satellites, Trans Am. We have a little bit of everything. All right. That's cool. Do you guys own the cars? Yes, we do. Every one of them. All right. Sounds good. Well, thank you for talking with me today. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. All right. I'm here with Robbie in the SVT Cobra Club. Robbie, how you doing, man? I'm doing well. How you enjoying the show? Doing it well. It's like as long as I get to sit down every once in a while. You're not allowed to do that, man. You got to walk around. Well, I've done a little bit of that already. So I see you got a couple nice looking uh, Mustangs here. Yes, sir. SVT Cobras. Yeah, big Ford guys, huh? Oh yeah, a little bit, a little bit. We might like Ford. Blue Oval Club, maybe. Yeah, which one's yours? 
I got the black GT right over here. Nice car. It's not a, they let me come, but it actually it's a in. Cobra Club, but I snuck in. They, you snuck in yep, on them? Yeah, because I sold my other car, so I, they let me come in anyway. So how are you enjoying all the festivities that are going on? I love it. Love yeah, it. it's a I good time, it. I've come it? down here quite often, so. Oh, this isn't your first yeah. trip? Oh, not my first trip, man. All right, good deal, man. I appreciate you taking the time well, to talk to us. Thanks a lot. Have that a good time. Great. Yeah, man, that's it. You know, Our club is National you're, Club, man. That's so. your 15 seconds of fame right there. <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll be right back. Hey, I'm Chloe here at the Concord Speedway with Queen City Corvette Club. Tell me a little bit about the club today. Well, Queen City Corvette Club is all of the kind of central North Carolina. We range from Charlotte up to Lenore, Mooresville, Hickory. Um, we've got about 250 members and lots of cars. Yeah, those uh, are some beautiful Corvettes out there. We've got the oldest car, which is a 1954. And that's your car, that's right? Mine. All the way to the newest one, which we got 2011 Grand Sports and Z06s here. So um, we enjoy the club. If you like good fellowship, good group of people, come join us. All right. Well, thank you so much for you guys' time today. Okay. Hey, I'm here with the National DeSoto Club. How are you guys doing today? Good, thanks. All right. So, how many cars do you have in your group? Well, we're expecting nine today. All right. And you, when we were talking earlier, you said you're a national group. That's correct. And how about how many cars do you have national-wide? Um, there's probably about 4,000 cars in the club. All right. That's that's really a big number. Yeah. Um, so how far do your guys travel to come to stuff like the auto fair? Well, most of the members that come to the auto fair come from the Carolinas, but we occasionally get someone from Georgia or northern Florida or even southern Virginia will come as well. All right. Well, that's amazing. Do you guys restore your cars or you just keep them brand new? Um, well, if we've got the money, we restore them. <laughs> if otherwise, we keep them as new as possible. All right, that's cool. And do you have one yourself? I do, but it's not here today. All right. What kind is that? I have a 57 DeSoto uh, station wagon that I'm working on. Oh, that is pretty cool. Well, thank you guys for talking to me and I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, I'm here at the Carolina Regional Club. And you are? Uh, Greg Garrett. I'm the president of the club. How are you today? I'm doing good. Doing real good. Having a good time out here. Great weather for the auto fair, huh? Oh, it is. Wonderful. Good. So you can tell me a little bit about your club? Uh, yes, we're a club that's uh, based in North Carolina primarily. But we have members in uh, Georgia and South Carolina and Virginia as well. So we kind of cover the large part of the southeast. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so you guys said you had the newer cars and the classic cars, correct? That's right. We have uh, we have uh, some of the Dodge Challengers and so forth that uh, some of our club members have. But we also have uh, some of the cars that go back to the 20s and 30s. So we have a wide range of cars, but most of the people bring their muscle cars to show them off a little bit. Well, that's cool. And you said you had a car yourself? I have a 69 GTX, and I also have a 36 Plymouth Coupe. Okay, that's cool. Well, thank you for talking with me okay. today, and I enjoyed meeting you. Okay, good thank luck. You. All right, you're welcome. Hi, I'm here with the Mini Cooper Club, and I'm with... Luke Shields. How are you today? Just fine. So, is this your Mini Cooper? Yes, it is. That's amazing. How many trophies did you win? I've won over 60 all over the United States. All right, that's cool. Can you tell me a little bit about your club? Uh, it's the Mini Motoring Club of the Carolinas. Um... Basically, we're out of Charlotte. Uh, we have roughly 35 or 40 members, and uh, we do a lot of charity work for the Speedway Children's Charity. I think we're the only car club that actually donates to them. So, so you're like a charity club. Right. We raise money for charities. We do runs. We just ha held an event, and we call it Helen Blitz in Helen, Georgia, when many from all over the southeast come. And it's a little German town, and uh, we raised like a little over $1,600 back in February. So you guys are like more of a national club? No, we're just a local club. There's a lot of mini clubs. We have, there's another club in Columbia. We have one in Greenville, South Carolina. There's one in Charleston, one in Winston-Salem. They're just all over. So you're like charters instead of <coughs> right. Sunday club. Okay. All right. And I see you have some classic minis over there. No, th we don't oh. have any classic, classic minis, minis with us. I got one, but I didn't bring it. It's in a body shop. Oh, okay. Having some work done to it, but Okay, you plan on bringing it out next year? It'll be here in the fall. All right, that's cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, I'm here with Weldon and the G8s of Charlotte. Tell me a little bit about your club. Well, we're a club of G8s, and we consist of G8 GTs and G8 GXPs. Um, there's not many of them around, so we like to get together and kind of hang out with each other. It's this nice. is my favorite car. Really? Uh -huh, and this is your white one right here? That's me. 
Yep, I'm a Pontiac girl, and I love the G8. I hear that. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for your interview. No problem. All right, I'm here with Art Johnson and this uh, wonderful piece of machinery. Art, what is this? Uh, it's something we built because we nobody else did it. It's definitely unique, and I understand there's a story to the back, uh, the extension on the back seat there or something? Yeah, the passenger kept falling off, so uh, I needed a little more leg room, so we moved the seat six inches back, and we made a piece to cover the back here, and uh, the fender was 30 pounds, and I want to lighten it up a little bit, so my partner and I on, on Monday built a new fender, and it's not painted yet, and... Uh, we're taking it back to Pennsylvania. Up to I have a shop in Pennsylvania, and we also have a shop in Florida. Wow! And uh, do you have a website for your shop? Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, www.americansupercarinc.net. I'm sorry, americansupercarinc.net. American yes. All right, good deal. Well, I'll tell you what, this thing's absolutely beautiful. I mean, you have got to be getting a lot of people looking yeah, at this. Yeah, my partner and I worked hard on it, about 18 months to, to build the prototype, and we're looking for somebody to uh, step in and, and build the second generation with us. We, we'd like to manufacture them and sell them. Now, I was just going to ask you, are you looking to build this to put them out on the road as, as a yes. production vehicle? Yes, this is a, this is straight out of the man cave. It's uh, uh, the only one out there with an eight-cylinder engine. We can build it with a small block, big block, Ford engine, Chevy engine. Uh, and what, what's the, what, what's like the weight on this? I mean, this thing's it's about eighteen hundred pounds. It's got to fly. It's got a C four Corvette front suspension. It was a modified cross member in it that we made. It's got a four twenty seven Chevy engine, wow. three fifty Chevy transmission, wow. and Winters quick change. Uh, Winters has been an excellent partner in the development of this. Nobody's ever done what we've done, wow. and. Uh, we just enjoy building building this kind of stuff. Uh, well, we, we got a lot of ideas. All right. We need we need a little more change in the pocket. I heard that. <laughs> well, if you're out there looking for an investment, there you go. Hit up yep. his website. Give him a yep. call. Art, right, thanks so much, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate you taking the time. It's a, it's a wonderful piece. Thank you very All much. All right, we'll be Thank right you. back. NASCAR driver Kenny Wallace, and you're watching Cruise Control TV. Hi, I'm Tommy Offen Jr., co-founder and CEO of Race City Classics. With our 50,000 square foot facility, Race City Classics is the Carolina's place of classic cars for the classic American. Built on a dream of excellent service and dependability, Race City Classics is the place to help find your classic beauty a new home. Located in Troutman, North Carolina, come by and visit us or give us a call at 704-500-0091 or look us up on the internet at racecityclassics.com. Does your transmission look like this? You need to take your transmission to Get in Gear Monroe. They work on domestic foreign, even the classics. Get in Gear works on racing transmissions from drag to drift. With over 40 years experience, Get in Gear backs every overhaul with a written no-hassle guarantee. For a transmission work you can trust, call Get in Gear, 704-226-1972 in the Old Charlotte Highway at Rocky River Road, Monroe. Victory Junction is where I can forget about being sick for a while. Victory Junction is where I have friends just like me. Victory Junction is where I discover all I can be. Victory Junction, a camp where chronically ill children discover all they can do, all at no cost to their families. To learn more, visit us at victoryjunction.org and feel your heart race. For 50 years, Bear Insurance has been serving the needs of customers just like you and your family. Locally owned and operated, Bear Insurance has locations in Albemarle, Locust, and Mount Pleasant, providing coverage for your home, automobile, motorcycle, and even your commercial insurance needs. Bear is just a phone call away. Committed to customer satisfaction, Bear is there when you need them most. 
For a free price quote, call 704-982-1156. Hey, I'm Chloe Joy here at the Auto Fair in Charlotte. I'm here with Todd with 1D and his Kevin Morgan concept cars. Tell me about the car, Todd. Okay, well, what you see here, um, starting with the uh, 78 styles, we have a... Um, a Firehawk tribute. Uh -huh. um, Firehawks were made by SLP back in the day. They only made a few Trans Ams. And uh, the owner of this car came to us and asked us if we would build a Firehawk tribute uh, based on the new Trans Am. Uh -huh. So we did. This is the very first car that ever, fifth gen, that ever had T tops put in it. Oh, I love the T tops. <laughs> well, you can't have a Trans Am without T tops. That's you know? right, that's right. So, and then over here, what do we got over here? This is a concept car that we've just completed based off the 69 GTO. Uh -huh. We call it the 6T9 GOAT. Goat. So as you can see with this car, we started with the 69 styling. In the front end you have the hideaway headlights. You've got the, uh, the famous GOAT nose that comes down and of course the Ram Air hood. Uh -huh. If we step around to the side here, um, you'll see the, uh, the rally wheels uh -huh. um, that we incorporated into the 20 inch. Um, uh, wheels that come standard on the uh, on the uh, Zeta platform. Uh -huh. um, then we move over here to the interior, and you'll notice that the seats are reconfigured uh -huh. to uh, exactly like the '69 GTO was. Yeah, it is. What and, a gorgeous car! Yeah. Uh, the ga the gauges are refaced like the '69 GTO, and of course we put our own little touch on the sill plates and the interior badging. And do you have the bucket seats in the back like the GTO does? Of course. Of course. Yeah. All right. And then if uh, if you look here, another styling cue that we picked up on was the uh, the fenders. We flattened out the top of the fenders, took out the uh, the body line at the top. Um, to be consistent with the 69 GTI. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, what a gorgeous car. You want to move on to the next one? Sure. Okay. All right. And as you see here, this is a uh, chopper. This was built by Orange County Choppers. It was unveiled in Boston uh, World of Wheels Autorama last weekend. Uh -huh. um, Orange County Choppers built three bikes for us. They built one for the GTO, uh, one for the uh, 78 Hearst Edition Trans Am, uh -huh. and one for the 69 Trans Am. We'll see in a second. Uh, this is part of an episode that was uh, filmed and recently concluded. will probably air sometime the uh, first of uh, next month. Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful bikes and cars. Okay, what we have here is the um, final in our lineup of the three models we're going to introduce. This is based off the very first Trans Am, which was the 1969 model. Uh -huh. um, this is also our first monster car. This car has an LS7 with twin turbo and nitrous. It's running about probably around 1400 horsepower at the rear wheel. Wow. <laughs> um, it, uh, uh, I, I was driving down I-10 uh, just the other day. We were doing a little tuning in the car. I rolled into it at about 80 mile an hour and it swapped lanes with me. So oh. um, it's, it's uh, a little scary, but it's a lot of fun. As you can see, it's a convertible. Before the convertibles came out, we, uh, we had the convertible put in. Uh, this car comes with a full roll cage, um, and again, it's patterned after the 69, so the interior has burl wood. It's got a six-speed Hurst, I see and um, uh, it's it's ready to ready for the night on the town. Well, I'm ready to take it for the night on the yeah. town. <laughs> well, <Let's go. laughs> well, these are some amazing cars, and these are beautiful bikes, and thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Hey, I'm here with Judy and Fred. How are you guys doing today? Good, oh, thank you. Hey. So, tell me about your very unique car that you guys have. Oh, well, it's uh, it's a radio flyer, obviously, and uh, it was built on my wife's father's uh, 1976 Mazda pickup truck. And uh, she wouldn't let go of the pickup truck, but I could talk her into turning it into a radio flyer wagon. Fred's being a little modest. He actually did the work on it, too. It took about 11 months to convert it from the pickup to what you see here, the radio flyer. So you guys built this from scratch, right? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I used to build airplanes, and I've built about five full-size airplanes, and uh, uh, two of them were my own design. And so I had, to, I had the knowledge, and actually I had a lot of material left over from those uh, days of building airplanes, and uh, everything just fell into place, and it, I love to build. So that's why the, the wagon came about. The looks you guys get must be, like, phenomenal, right? It's crazy, yeah. People uh, drive up beside us sometimes on the four-lane at home, 
and they'll pull right up beside us at you know 55 miles an hour, slow down, take photos. Doesn't matter if the traffic's backing up behind them, and then they'll go on around us. Or sometimes they come up, they they finally realize what they're seeing when they're there. Then they go on around us, pull off on the shoulder of the road, and wait for us to come by so they can take photos. <laughs> that is amazing. So tell me a little about this. How is the structure of the car? It's actually uh, what we call a composite. It's a, a mixture of uh, marine plywood, rigid foam, uh, uh, fiberglass cloth, and epoxy resin. And it's all blended together. The Basically, the curved portions of the rig as example, the, the large curve there, that's foam, which is easy to shape and, and form. And uh, it's called the moldless construction. So you, you make it look like a wagon, then you glass it and everything, and voila, you have it. And you guys said you're from Alaska? Uh-huh. That's right. Yeah, yeah we live in, uh, in between Wasilla and Palmer, and uh, just uh, up in the valley. And uh, it's just a wonderful place to live. And I've never seen anything like this in North Carolina or the United States. So <laughs> well, we're, we're having a blast with it and because uh, uh, people are really excited when they see it. All right. Well, thank you guys very much. And uh, I'm excited to get in touch with you. And the car is amazing. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm here with Benji in DreamWork Motorsports Company. He's the sales manager for them. And the 71 Chevelle SS. Tell me a little bit about the car, Benji. Um, it's a 71 Chevelle SS. We uh, built it basically from the ground up. It's got a uh, Doug Herbert 555 cubic inch motor. Um, all sorts of chrome goodies under the hood. Um, we did a really clean black leather and suede interior um, with a, a double diamond tuck pattern. Um, Dakota Digital Dash. It's a house of color candy apple red. Candy apple red. Right. It's got uh, some 22 inch uh, Volano custom built wheels. We painted to match the, the vehicle. Candy apple red. Yes, ma'am. That's right. <laughs> um, we have uh, wheelwood disc brakes all the way around. Uh -huh. And then we got a really nice stereo in the trunk, tastefully done, uh, with mostly all JL Audio products. Uh huh. Um, other than that, man, it's, a, it's just a really clean, put-together package car with a this, lot of detail work. Yeah, this is a very gorgeous car. How much money would you say you about had put in this car? Um, this car on the retail side would run about $150,000 um, to, to duplicate the same thing. Right. So. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. This no is problem. a beautiful car. Thank you. SBB Smokehouse, come taste the experience. Hey boys and girls and blokes, I'm at Carolina, you pull in Rock Hill where you pull the pies yourself to save money. Come with me now, we found some wild beasts. Well boy, you find everything you need here, perfect vehicle for a safari, and look at here, I got a wild Mustang. Look at what we found here, Thunderbird. He's an Impala, he's got some great points. Here, Carol, why do you pull in Rock Hill? There's bugs all over the place here. Get off of me, would you? Ain't no matter what you call, they got the point right here. Carol, why do you say how Carol, why do you pull it in Rock Hill? Does your transmission look like this? 
You need to take your transmission to Get Gear Monroe. They work on domestic Ford, even the classics. Get Gear works on racing transmissions from drag to drift. With over 40 years' experience, Get Gear backs every overhaul with a written no hassle guarantee. For transmission work you can trust, call Get Gear, 704 226 1972 in the Old Charlotte Highway at Rocky River Road, Monroe. Hi, I'm Tommy Offen Jr., co-founder and CEO of Ray City Classics. With our 50,000 square foot facility, Ray City Classics is the Carolina's place of classic cars for the classic American. Built on a dream of excellent service and dependability, Ray City Classics is the place to help find your classic beauty a new home. Located in Troutman, North Carolina, come by and visit us or give us a call at 704-500-0091 or look us up on the internet at racecityclassics.com. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Darius Rucker. Taking a moment from making music to be here with some of my friends. I'd like to tell you about a place, it's an amazing place, where chronically ill children can laugh and play and forget about being sick for a while. It's Victory Junction, a NASCAR themed camp where kids get complete medical care while they have the time of their lives. And it's all free. To learn more, visit VictoryJunction.org and feel your heart race. All right, and that's going to wrap up our show this week. Was That was a fantastic that show. That was an amazing show. Great footage. Great footage of that show. Great cars. So, a couple things before we sign off from you today. In May, later this month, we have some special interviews from the NHRA Visit Myrtle Beach .com, Four Wides. John Force and I think Fast he did Jack Fast Beckham. Jack Beckman. That is going to be a blow your mind show. Just because the Buy My Car segment wasn't on this week, don't forget, it's still there. Go to RaceCityClassics.com if you're looking to sell or buy your car, and they can help you out. If you want to get some bonus footage and additional coverage, or you miss an episode, go to CruiseControlTV.com, and you'll be able to catch up on everything that's going on. And remember, buckle up, be safe, and, and keep, keep it on, on Cruise, cruise Control. control.